two titans of stage and screen are now the subjects of heart, rending new films. Batman Forever actor Val Kilmer and legendary choreographer Alvin Ailey each get the documentary treatment this month in Val and Ailey, respectively. Val, in theaters and streaming on Amazon Prime now, uses intimate behind, the, scenes video, most of which was shot by Kilmer, to trace the movie stars for, decade career, endearing fans with performances in 80s and 90s classics including Top Gun, Willow, and Tombstone. Company, directed by Leo Scott and Ting Poo, the doc also features emotional new interviews with Kilmer, 61, as he reflects on personal and professional highs and lows, and struggles to regain the full use of his voice following a two-year throat cancer battle. You wanted to hurt, Val Kilmer, daughter Mercedes explain why their tearful patered scenes are so emotional Ailey, in theaters now, is similarly poignant in its reflection on Ailey, who died in 1989 from AIDS, related complications at age 58. The doc revisits the wondrous choreography and activism of the black gay trailblazer, painting a portrait of a man who was warm and unpretentious yet intensely private. Director Jamila Wigno intercuts the film with breathtaking rehearsal footage of Ailey's dance company preparing for a 60th anniversary tribute to him in 2018. Val and Ailey are two of the many real life stories coming to the big and small screen this summer. From music to mysteries to a lonely whale, here are all the docs that should be on your radar. Summer of Soul. Or, When the Revolution Could Not Be Televised, Questlove revives 1969's long, forgotten Harlem Cultural Festival in this Sundance Award winning concert doc, featuring performances from icons Nina Simone, Stevie Wonder, and The Fifth Dimension, now in theaters and streaming on Hulu. Deep Dive How Questlove Turned a Forgotten Music Fest into 2021's Most Compelling Documentary Roadrunner. A film about Anthony Bourdain the TV host's life in 2018, Suicide are explored in Morgan Neville's controversial new documentary, which uses artificial intelligence technology to recreate Bourdain's voice and opts not to interview his last girlfriend, actress Asia Argento, now in theaters, The Hidden Life of Trees based on Forrester Peter Wolleven's 2015 book, which posits that trees are actually social beings with families and ways of communicating amongst each other, now in theaters, The Loneliest Whale. The Search for 52 Leonardo DiCaprio executive produces this fascinating look at the so-called 52 Hertz whale, a creature said to live alone in the Pacific Ocean and emit a one of a kind frequency that other whales can't hear, now in theaters and on video on demand platforms, Prey Away continuing his push to bring LGBTQ stories to Netflix. Ryan Murphy backs this powerful documentary about conversion therapy and former leaders of the Prey the Gay Away movement. Streaming on Netflix, bring your own brigade a first-hand look at the history and heroism behind California wildfires including 2018's Camp Fire, still the deadliest and most destructive wildfire in state history, in theaters now and streaming on Paramount, August 20th. Misha and the Wolves A Holocaust survivor stunning tale of survival is more complicated than it seems in this twisty, thought-provoking documentary out of Sundance, streaming on Netflix, Homeroom A Year in the Life of Oakland. California, high school students. Following in real time as they navigate the COVID-19 pandemic and protests sparked by George Floyd's murder, in theaters and streaming on Hulu, The Lost Leonardo A Stranger, then, fiction story about the most expensive painting ever sold, The Salvatore Mundi, a disputed work thought to be the lost art of Leonardo da Vinci that auctioned for $450 million in 2017, in select theaters now. Not going quietly this year's Audience Award winner at the South by Southwest Festival chronicles the efforts of healthcare activist Adi Barkin, who was diagnosed with the degenerative disease ALS at age 32, in select theaters now, missing in Brooks County too. Families search for their loved ones who went missing after crossing into the U.S. from Mexico in this sobering dive into the border humanitarian crisis, in select theaters Friday, The Outsider a window into the years-long battle to make the National 9-11 Museum at Ground Zero which opened in New York in 2014, in select theaters and virtual cinemas Friday, on Broadway as The Great White Way prepares to reopen. Filmmaker Oren Jacoby looks back at the shows that have defined America's theater capital, featuring interviews and performances from Lynn, Manuel Miranda, Viola Davis, James Earl Jones, and Helen Mirren, in select theaters starting Friday. <music>